Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today, we're going to be talking about every guy's, and maybe gal's, favorite thing. Fishing. And some of the gear that you can get. That you can attach to your packs and everything else. So, let's get going on this. fishing kit that I bought all right now this came with uh, the collapsible fishing pole and the bag everything else I put in here okay so <clears throat> as you can see it does come with a, uh, a strap that you can put over your shoulder you can adjust it so you can adjust this strap what I did was is I put a carabiner on there and I can attach this to any one of my backpacks to anywhere on the backpack like if you have a mole pack or something like that you know you've got plenty of places where you can attach it and hook that right on there and you don't have to worry about carrying it it's right on your backpack so inside <clears throat> it came with a collapsible fishing pole now all this is is I don't think this is like your top of the line pole or anything um, but you know what in a pinch, if it was a survival situation, you just take and pull these out. You line up your, your eyes. And you just twist. And then you get them so they're somewhat lined up. And you just pull on a little bit and they tighten right up on you. I'm not so sure about the end piece. Because I don't know if you all can see that. It's kind of a... Just a little flimsy piece, but hey, I got the fishing pole and the bag for $15.99. So, you know, I do have in here, I have spare parts. I have uh, spare eyes and stuff. So if it did break off, you know, I could, uh, you know, maybe rake something up on it. But it's a nice little reel. Doesn't weigh much, you know, and you can just collapse it back down. And then it comes with a little cap to hold it all in place so it doesn't come out and uh, potentially break if you did do something that you weren't supposed to. <laughs> but that never happens when we go fishing, right? I mean, we only just catch the really big fish. Right, guys? All right, so I have that. I have my fillet knife. I've had this knife for years. Um, so I have a fillet knife. I also carry an extra reel. Now, you want to make sure that it does fit uh, because there are some different sizes. And uh, so I did take this one off and put this one on just to make sure that it did fit, just in case this reel, because there's no name on it. And uh, just in case it doesn't hold up, I can put my uh, Zipco on there. All right, so that's in the main pouch right in the center. And this whole thing is very, very light. Then you come over here, and in here, this is where I have, I have a couple of bobbers, I have all kinds of hooks, I have extra line, I have sinkers, I have uh, uh, splits, I, I even have, if you need a Coleman lighter, or a Coleman, uh, my mind went blank, we're talking fishing, not camping, um, lantern. I always carry these all the time. They've come in handy. I don't know how many times. Um, but yeah, that's about all that's in there. Just your little pouch, you know, just with a few little things and stuff. You know, so if, even if you just wanted to go, if you were camping or something and you just wanted to go cast a line real quick, you know, you could just grab this bag here. You could throw it over your shoulder and you could go back and, you know, hike back in the woods, go to the lake or the river, the stream, wherever it is you, you like to fish. And you know you could cast the line. Now this is a new addition to me. This is a waterproof bag, and I took my tackle box and I and I that I had for years. It was falling apart and everything else. And I condensed all my stuff down into this bag. All right. Now this bag is a great bag. It's waterproof. 
it does come with a shoulder strap. All right, you can also attach it in the back. You could attach it with uh, your carabiners onto your backpack so you wouldn't have to carry it. And these things, your shoulder straps, they pop right off. You could fold it up and there's a little pouch in the back if you want. You could just stick them right in there. That's where the, the straps and stuff came with it. I carry a stainless steel water bottle, all right, just for the fact you might get out someplace and if you need to boil water or something to drink um, in an emergency situation, you got a stainless steel water bottle. Um, yes, a plastic or something like that would probably be a lot lighter if you're really looking to condense on weight, but I'm not. All right, so you start off this little top pouch here. We're going to pull that stainless steel water bottle out of there and get it out of the way. <clears throat> In here I have a lot of my different... Uh, uh, spinner baits and all that kind of stuff and then it comes with these pouches and in here I have all my rattle traps <clears throat> and then this one here I have I have more hooks I have um, glue for in case I do bust one of the eyes or something off on that I have glue in here I have extra eyes in there I have different hooks I have plastic worms and everything else so I'm good to go on the whole situation and that is all that's in that pack right there in the front those all slide right back in there like I said this case is waterproof if you wanted to you could also you know if you wanted to spray it with some more stuff and waterproof it the top has um, velcro on it so if you had a, it's like an extra side pack like that would go on a mole pack or something like that and you wanted to stick it on here like a little first aid kit you know this loosens up you can put stuff under here um, you know it's kind of like whatever you want to do with that and then in this pouch here I have my stringer all right I have a scaler I have what you don't see very many people use anymore if you're going catfishing you need skinners you got to skin that thing that can be a bear and these things are a lifesaver these things are probably older than me these were my my real father's um, skinners um, more extra line I only use a 12 pound test I do have I do, I do want to get like a 20 pound test to put in here just in case I just wanted to throw a line or something in if the pole did totally break in here I do have some flies and more hooks, individual hooks. All right. You always wanna make sure you get a stringer. You know, if you catch a fish or something, I mean, yeah, you could use a piece of cordage or something like that and, you know, make your own on the fly or whatever. But, I mean, you can, I got that at Walmart for, I think it was two bucks. Um, you can't go wrong. All right, then there's a little pouch right here in the front. All right, in this little pouch, I keep my uh, finishing lens. So if I needed to start a fire or anything like that, I have one of those. I keep one of these in every one of my packs. I suggest people, everybody get these. I also do keep a bandana, all right, because you never know. They can come in use for a lot of different things, all right. I do keep a pouch I keep a pouch with my char cloth in it just in case I need to start a fire and a Bic lighter I don't go anywhere without Bic lighters there's a Bic lighter in every bag it, it, anything that I have there's a Bic lighter in there it's the only one I trust and that is it for that pouch that right back in there this layer right back over seals right up and then the best thing is you know if you're gonna hike back off in the woods you're going camping for say a weekend or something like that you know I mean you can attach these things right to your backpack you know between the two 
I would say maybe you're talking an extra four or five pounds. Now, for some people, that could be a lot of weight if your pack is already, say, 50 pounds with gear and everything. Um, so you just kind of have to play with it by ear. You know, in here, like I said, I just have, you know, I have a, 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 just a regular knife. Um, I have <clears throat> just some more bobbers. Um, some stuff that's made just for, you know, like your, your fishing gear and stuff, small um, screwdrivers and things of that nature. Um, just a regular knife. This is, this is a, pops right out. You never know if you just need just like a little small knife instead of using your, the, the big uh, fillet knife, which I mean you could do, you could use, you use your fillet knife. But I like to just have something else. And more likely in your pocket, you would have your, you know, your pocket knife and that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> this here cost me um, roughly right around 15 bucks for the bag and the rod. And this bag here was 19. Um, it does come with the two, with the uh, the plastic inserts that you saw in there. Those come right with it, and you just have to fill it up with your own gear and whatever you want in there. You know. I would always consider a stainless steel water bottle. A lot of people like to use the plastic ones, um, but it's all up to you and what you want and where you're going and what the situation is. You know, I mean, if you park your car and you're just going to walk back a little ways or whatever, you could just use a plastic water bottle. But if you're, say, out in the woods and you're hiking or you're going on a long trip or something like that, you know, you may want to make sure you bring the stainless steel this way here. You know, if, like I said, you needed to boil water for any reason to make sure you got something to drink that's safe. Um, you know, you have your fire starting stuff in your fishing kit also, and you can boil your water and you'll be good to go. Because hopefully you're catching fish and you can cook the fish over the fire, over with a stick or whatever else. You don't have to have a frying pan necessarily. So if you're catching fish, you're eating, heat up your water. Hey, it's like a weekend at the Ritz. All right, so my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. This has been a little thing on fishing tackle and some of the stuff that you can get. Very inexpensive, you know, and you can take and attach all this stuff, like I said, to your backpacks or it, you can just carry them right along. You can throw one over your shoulder and the other one over your shoulder and away you go. Doesn't, it's not big, doesn't take up a lot of uh, space, um, it's lightweight and waterproof. So until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.